Yep, yep, yep. Boop. Ooh. Let's take a look at the settings real quick. Okay. Boop. Oh, hell yeah. Um. Hmm. Cool. Frogs. Paris, December the tenth. Ah! Stop. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borchert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borchert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son. Didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. Concoction? <sighs> oh, we're Your being raided! This will dissolve in less than four hours. <clears throat> Whoa. Ugh. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. Thank you, you elevators. Know, Welcome to I you guys. Admit, mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Mm -hmm. Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. Uh. Damn, Mom! Uh, 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 Mom? Uh. Oh, that works. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's How go. How dare home. he! And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Also, I am getting. 
incredible Guybrush Threepwood vibes from this main character. He even looks like him a little bit. <laughs> By the way, mods, if you didn't, uh, please link Elo's channel. Big thank you, Eloheim, uh, fellow New Game Plus streamer. Um, he's the guy that just rated us. Big thank you, my friend. Really do appreciate it. Also, Quad.com and Insigmata and Kadaves going on a gifting spree overnight. Good God, guys. Really appreciate it. Ruffy with the new sub. Netovo with a 500 cheer. And isn't it your birthday or something? Thank you uh, very much for the cheer, man. We also have Peeve with the host. Eloheim with the raid. Brex Noctis with the sub. And 7T of fun with the six months. Thank you, dudes. Thank you very much. Uh, Palmate, does that actually go to his channel? Palme! <laughs> Palme, that is not Elo's channel. <laughs> that is. <laughs> well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm Man. sure I'll find you once again. Stop being an ageist. the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited Damn, me. girl, what's up? Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Wow, we, we really get to pick everything, huh? Um... Your Eminence, with all due respect, I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here to myself. I promise, it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized by our host. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. Whoa. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A Cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Are you all right? Mother? Oh shit, your hand! Oh, what? what? So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. 
Just one thing left to no, do. No, mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay for it. Done. <gasps> You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. What is going on in this game? <laughs> what the hell? Can I you like have to find mother quickly? Was that the future? It, it had to be the future. Or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, mother. Is this a controller game? It feels like it might work better as a controller game. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Whoa, okay. The diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Uh, politics in is his field of predilection. A cultist... The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Detective. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Hmm. Can I have one more skill point? We're super subterfuge. Yeah. Let's try that. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Father, I have been involved goes. in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. 
We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Sorry. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Nice well, recovery! Say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. I wonder if that's going to be important. Hmm. Because I never forget a set of, uh, of eyes like that. That's, uh, she's got a, a beautiful set of eyes. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you need to have unlocked it. Okay. Oh. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Whoa. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you pl uh, one effort point back. Immunity revealed and vulnerability revealed. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but... Immunity to logic. Hmm. Okay. You still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Oh. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Oh. Okay. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Hmm. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted oh, to it's welcome Vega. you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, hmm. none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost in effort points. Hmm. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. 
Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but, sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration? I didn't understand eyes? that manipulation that equaled you wish me to report bitchy. To your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Damn. Here you are. We're, apparently, we're a dick. Okay. Yeah, and he turns around and leaves. I bet. It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. It had her initials come here on for it. a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What yeah, I'm sorry about that, guy. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't. I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> my bad, dude. Oh my God! Look at all these. Whoa. Huh. Cool. Very cool. All right, let's look down here a little bit more. Uh, someone said if I could turn up the brightness. Let me see if I can. It is a little dark, isn't it? Wait, I can't control the video in here? Oh, come on. Really? Um, let's try this. It probably, it's it's going to save, right? Oh, well, hold on. Maybe this will work. Okay, there we go. It is really dark, isn't it? Oh, there's no brightness settings? You're killing me. <sighs> anyway. Uh, let me try turning it up in my OBS settings here. Or actually, you know what I can do? Let me try turning it up in my NVIDIA panel. Maybe I'll get away with that. Alright, let's try temporarily. Mm, let's raise the gamma. Is that a little better? What do you guys think? Like that? a little washed out, but at least we can see a little bit better. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Great. Yo, I got a lockpick. Open the gate. What about my... Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Oh, we need some lockpicks. Oh, pick lock. Yeah, get it. I've been trading my whole life for this. Uh, yeah, there, there it are. goes. Oh, my face is blocking something. Yes, it is. My face is blocking my points. There we go. Now I'm going to use some jelly. Boom. Get some of uh, my points back. That's right. All right, Mom, you in here? Mom. Mom. It's Ooh. like a pistol case. But it's empty. Mm. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Keep games of the 10 months ice cool with the 3,000 cheer. And he says, happy birthday, Co. Uh, it is not my birthday, but thank you very much for that. We also have Valerie and Ordine with the two months and Smelly Pickle with the one year. Thank you for the support, guys. Really do appreciate it. Oh, we got some more royal uh, jelly. Nice. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh 
Huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Hmm. The powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dog. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. You just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Oh, great. Amber. Amber. All right, cool. Well, I'd say that was a lot of progress we just made. It's kind of badass. All right, so let's go back and do one more look around the dock that we arrived on. Since now we know that lights were there. We can't go in here, can we? Okay. <laughs> it's a telephone card. Hey, Sir Shaves Lot, what's up, buddy? Sherlock Swomes, thank you so much. I appreciate that, brother. It's like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Okay. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Hmm. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. Gears art and with the, the 31 months! Thanks, man. Not analysis to the contract. I put my money on cannon powder. Oh. This might just come in handy. I really do feel like I'm playing Monkey Island right now. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Anything down here? Nope. More royal jelly. Nice. rope. Apparently no one's touched for a good long time. So this is where we saw the lights, or the lights were reported to be seen. <clears throat> Down here somewhere. Let's see what's hidden inside. Ooh, logic locked. Examine letters one at a time. Let's look. Oh my lord. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. Okay. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Okay. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. There are two points you missed on the dock by the gate you opened. Oh, I know, but I think the gate leads up. To the main area. We're not going to do that yet. We're going we're gonna to do all this stuff first. Ooh, linguistics. I don't know that language. The slightest idea what it says. Damn, dude. There's so many different ways we could have done this. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me. It's about time the order sent some envoys there. Probably a Dutchman. Racist. Oh, occultism. Hold on. What is this one? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. This is Mr. Samuel Ritter Dachua. Here we go. Occultism. Samuel Ritter Dachua. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Richet. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. Oh, here we go. So Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name, okay. But here you go even further, by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think! Godoy, Godoy. Man, 
Sonia Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Oh, man! I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But I just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Hmm. So, anything else?